Hey everybody, it's GliderCat, and it is time to play back in Foundry. This episode, we're going to do a few odds and ends. So I'm sitting here near our research lab four. We've got a fair amount of work to do in order to get uh, science pack fours built and also um, get the materials we need to finish construction of lab four. I take it back. I was sitting in front of lab three here. <laughs> So we need more materials to get lab four done, the polymer boards and the uh, circuit boards. So we're going to do that. But in the meantime, while we're doing all that, I kind of want to have these science pack threes uh, bank up. <laughs> so I'm going to put a logistics block down here. Let's, uh, let's see if I even have the materials to do it. I may have to go fetch the materials to build one. I don't need anything fancy. Where are those guys? down uh that's probably it so logistics container i think that's probably the only size or all that i need as far as uh space we'll just get the first one and now i need to uh show you what i'm planning on doing here let's see here want to go ahead and put down the low voltage power network and did we wire this up with the regular one we haven't but we can right now it's running off a burner but it's that's going to be fine so i think i need one more one more row here and then what i'm going to do is have the extras queue up in a logistics storage box and we're effectively just increasing the storage of the research labs. So let's go ahead and grab the storage unit out of our inventory. Drop it. How are we going to do? Do I need to go one more back maybe? Yeah, I do. I think I do. Because we're going to have a loader coming off of this thing. Right? To take stuff in. And then we're going to have another one like that. So we got to come back a couple actually. And then we're going to have one like this to load up the storage thing. And then we'll put the storage guy here. All right, let's do a little more drilling. And one more for good measure. We'll pop these blocks down. Oops. That Get our loader here. And now hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. Just like that. And now let's set our loaders. This guy we want to intake, right? So he already took those in. Cool. Science pack threes. Nice. And then we want to put a belt under here before we forget. And uh, then we won't have to come back. That to that, and then this guy is set to output, and this guy is set to input. And so now basically we just created a cache of these guys. And I think that is going to hold 800. So while we're doing all this other stuff we got to do, the Science Pack 3s can just start queuing up in here. Because they're the ones that take the longest. I'm not as worried about the Science Pack 2s. We could do the same thing if we wanted to with those. Um, nah, I'm going to wait. I don't, yeah, I'm just, these kind of, uh, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. All right. The other odd and end thing we want to do is I need to head out way out east here and figure out what's going on with our, um, with our production of electronic components, because they are not where we need it to be. We're going to need a ton of those. And the production is pretty backed up right now. All right. I want to go, I want to go straight this way. Let's join up with that line of electronic components and just trace that back and see what we're missing. 
probably wouldn't hurt to grab some building materials, right? We're like we may need some solar. Let's uh, get rid of some of this. And get rid of this. So yeah, before we make that trek, let's put some pipes away and let's grab some, uh, let's assemble some solar and take it with us just in case that's part of the issue. But yeah, we're going to need more electronic components than we're getting. All right, I'm going to put the pipes in here. We'll come back to that. We'll fetch them when we, uh, when we get back to doing that, which won't be too long, I hope. Let's consolidate these wires. I've got, let's see, level two belts. Anything else I can consolidate? Get rid of some of this dirt while I'm here. All right, we need solar. So that's gonna mean more single ferrite plates. And now I gotta jog my memory. I don't know that we actually stored those up anywhere, did we? This line is, this belt is still not compressed and it's slow. All right. Where can I steal plates? I thought I had a place I could do it. I can do some of this. And this is just so we can build some solar panels and take them with us. Do I have them here? I do. All right. Let's grab a few stacks of these. And then we need to go get some Technum rods. I think we have some right over here. Not many, not enough. Let's uh, head up and see if we have some up the hill here. How are we doing? It's holding out a little bit. These miners could be moved. Got plenty in here. All right, let's craft some solar panels. Uh, how about, let's get 20 to start. And let's get, I guess, just 15 batteries. I wonder what I'm short on. One, two, three. I'm short on Technum rods. It's gotta be, right? Let's grab some of these. Doesn't hurt to have some extras on us. 15 batteries, let's go grab the other five and then we'll keep some of this raw material on us when we head out there. Now, let's take a look at the map. Where are we, we gotta go. Yeah, kind of straight ahead and this way. And figure out, here's our line. We can just follow this guy and figure out what the heck is the problem. I think these are all level two belts. Again, I'm a little bit colorblind, so if it's obvious to you, it's not to me, but I think these look like level twos, right? They're the light green or yellow or something. Got plenty of wire coils and I got plenty of ingots over there or uh, whatever those are. I can't remember the name of those. Pellets, Ignium pellets. Let's keep on moving. It's been a little while since we've been out here. But yeah, I'm also thinking of running another belt parallel to these, although I'm probably going to have to... Oh, I went over the hill. I don't think... It, did I tunnel with this line? I did tunnel at some point, right? We're going to go through a tunnel here, I think. We're running another line of xenoferrite plates because we've got some xenoferrite out here. And we're going to need a ton of plates. We're going to need a ton of plates for the end game monument. And we're going to need plates, I believe, for the, uh, the energy cells, which are one of the two ingredients for science pack fours. So yeah, this is a bit of a trek. I'm glad that the belts don't, uh, push me backwards <laughs> as I'm, as I'm doing this. I kind of like that they do not move you when you're on them. Yeah, plenty of coils. So hopefully it's not a materials issue. It could be a power issue. Or it could just be we just need to scale. We just need to scale up. Hopefully these deposits here are holding out too. 
There's a lot of product sitting on this belt. Or on these belts, I should say. All right. Yeah, those guys are humming along. Coils, not so much. Here it is, our beautiful factory. We have not lit this one up well. Got tons of uh, technum there. So let's see what we got. Okay, I've got room to scale for sure. Well, I left a ton of room. I'm not sure why I have all this room here. Matter of fact, I can slot one right in the middle. Hopefully I have assemblers. Yeah, we've got plenty of ingredients, right? It's just slow construction. Oh, and we have one that is not producing anything. Oh man, that's embarrassing. Why didn't you guys tell me? All right, boom, boom. Boom. Look at that with the click of a button of doubled production. Yeah, that's a little embarrassing, but uh, it is what it is. It happens. So now these lines are moving a little better. They're going to consume more power now. Let's uh, let's pop down another another dude here. Another assembler. Put the panel in. That looks like that's the right spot, actually. Boom. We'll find out. All right. Loader and loader. Yes, we just doubled it. <laughs> uh, embarrassing indeed, but hey, it happens. Set the recipe here. Electronic components. Yeah, I'm happy that this looks like it's going to be a fairly easy fix. And again, I've got room for another one. I may do it. It seems like we should. Throw in one more here. Why not? It looks like we've got the product to pull it off. I say we go for it. Don't let me forget to uh, set the recipe. Belt this way. That. Loader. Yeah, so a little bit. This is a little bit of cleanup. We are going to look at the. Uh, we're going to look at the xenoferrite prospects here, and possibly running another line long line all right let me just get these last loaders down i'll set the recipe backpack for the second lane loader boom intake intake now it's just a matter of hopping like a kangaroo and picking our recipe boom all right it's doing its thing better it's not compressed how are we doing on resource here those are coming pretty steady should i do one more i know we're going to need a lot of electronic components because we're feeding a couple different needs science pack threes and then what science pack fours by virtue of the energy cells I think we've got the resources to do it. I'm, let's do it. Let's do another one. We may, uh, it may be overkill, but it's not very expensive to do and it's not very involved. We set things up so we could scale. So I'm happy about that. So our little design here turned out to work pretty well for us. So yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. And it looks like we have enough rods. Did I go? Yeah, here we go. It looks like we have enough rods. We definitely have enough coils. We saw that line was backed up the whole way here. All right. And then we just got to... Oh, that panel's not in the best place. Let's, uh, let's make this a little nicer. It's 
going to be slightly not symmetric. <laughs> if that's a word, not symmetric. It's hard to see the panel. Panel there, panel there, panel there is what I want. All right, so let's set the recipe on this, then we'll just verify that it's kicking them out onto a belt. Yep. That's a heck of a lot better. I'm tempted to go one more. What do we have? We have five. pretty good yeah that's pretty good I don't know what do you think is it worth doing one more it looks like these guys are not gonna have a problem keeping up although let's see this is looking a little thinner here on the outside it's got plenty of ore Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It takes a second to do it, right? I guess we could do it. We are starting to chew through our product, but, but there's looks like there's plenty. The belts are still backing up, although our coils are not. So we've kind of maxed out the coils. So we, we would have to scale up. Yeah. See, we're going to have to scale up upstream coils which we can do let's see what's it take for those guys oh i gotta get i gotta bring rods in now this line is not set up to scale very well but we could fix that pretty darn easy because that's backing up these rods are kind of backing up so i could run that rod line this way neck right next to this belt Perfectly placed. I could get another coil guy going. Seems like it's worth it, right? Because the coils aren't making it down here. Let's do it. Again, we're just doing a little bit of maintenance and upscaling here. So let's take this guy out. And we'll take that guy out. And I can use those rods, so I don't mind that. And what I'm thinking of doing is running this belt this way. And hopefully we can get by with just one Technum rod guy. That's not uh, set up to scale very well at all. But uh, we can do it. Ooh, wait, what is this? What am I doing here? I'm just looking at this Technomore, wondering why is this coming down this way? Was I planning to add more rod production or something? Hmm. Yeah, it's a little strange. We've got rods there. I could actually branch those, couldn't I? What is this guy doing? Oh, a bunch of co more coils. Coils, 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 coils. We've got extra coils right here. I could just mer I could just do a splitter here, right? Um. All right, let's think about this for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the loader here, so that guy can get back to work. And now I'm just wondering if I should just branch off since we have an abundance of coils on the other line and we're running short over here. It's not pretty to do this, but it is functional. In fact, I could join up. I could join up right over here. This is really ugly. This is really, really ugly. It's really ugly to do this, but don't tell anybody. Oh no, look at that. It's our first crash. It's my first crash. All right, let me get things running again and we will come back. Hopefully 
we've got a save game we can grab. Let me go chase this down and I'll be right back. All right. We are back. It loaded up pretty fast. Let's see what we lost. I guess just getting this loader on because I was talking for the last several minutes. So I didn't lose a lot of gameplay because of my mouth. Um, and maybe the game crashed because I was going to do something ugly, but I still got to do something ugly. So that's just the way it's going to be. But yeah, I was thinking of joining up maybe here. Let's see if we run in the same issue. Boom. Look at that. The same thing. Boy, that is kind of strange. Reproducible, but strange. All right. We will try one more time. All right. We're back again. I think what I'm going to do is leave this. We're going to put that loader down. Like this. And then I'm just going to leave this for now. I'm going to let this run. We'll come back to it. Excuse me. And we'll scale up uh, electro components later. Um, Cause yeah, it just crashed twice doing the same exact thing. So I don't want to do that again right now. We will give it another try later, but let's just uh, let that the game run and do its thing. The other thing we were going to do while we were out here was just scout out our xenoferrite ore. So we've got some right underneath us. Uh, we've got some right underneath us. And let's see, does it, it does tell us how deep. Around five meters, and we're sitting at 153. Wow. Okay, so that seems like that's pretty deep. Where is this one at? Minus 95. There's one in 29 and 92. Let's look over here. I'm not super eager to do a bunch of digging for ore. It's not the end of the world right now. Um, we could do it. The next version of the game has uh, is going to have explosives, which will make it a little bit easier to mine. Let's see. So we're sitting on top of a deposit here. We're at a height of 146, right? And 146, and we got to get down to 95. So, and then where are our belts are up here, right? The belts heading out of town are up here. So yeah, the idea was, the thinking was, maybe we could put a little bit of xenoferrite plate production out here. We could possibly share the same power network to do it, but I got to dig down to get to it. I got to dig down quite a bit. Not super enthusiastic about doing that uh, right now. Let's see, map. Yeah, we had to burrow down there. We've got one here at 29. This one's at 95. 5, 92, 5. Oh, yeah, that's even further down, right? Because we're, we're pretty high up. We're at 138. So that's quite a ways down. Um, yeah, I'm zoomed all the way out. We need to solve our problem with xenoferrite. We don't have any surface mon surface deposits left nearby. One way over here, and it looks pretty small. Yeah, look at that. Not much. Not much. So we're probably going to have to dig. We're going to have to dig to get to that. So... Well, we could do a little bit of that on this episode. Just see if we can actually reach it. Um, yeah, I don't know the best way to get that up. We got to do it with the uh, sloped conveyors, I guess. Now, in the next 
release that's coming up here as I record this, there's going to be elevators too, which would make this easy. Um, how can we do this? How can we do this? Let's see. Let's get the drill out. And let's just start thinking about it. Uh, we won't do all this on camera. I imagine I'll do a bunch of this off camera. That's going to be a bit of homework. Drilling down is not the funnest either. That's a word. Do, do. Yeah, wow, that's going to take some time. But I don't know a way around it. I don't know a way around it. Uh, around doing this. I don't need to go three wide. I probably just do two wide for the heck of it. Eventually, we're going to have to run some type of uh, belt up this way. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be some digging for sure. Where are we at? We're at 138. <laughs> we got to get quite a bit further down than that. Uh, let's just do a little bit of this. If you want to skip ahead to the next episode, go for it. I don't think we're going to do much more in this episode other than just uh, start this digging. Uh, and we'll see how far, it, how far it goes or how long it takes to do it. I'll do most of this off camera between episodes, but I think that's what we got to do while we're here. I can do this. That'll kill some time. Um, and we can, uh, once we find the ore, we can go back and see if we can scale up those electronic components a little bit more with the coils and where the game was crashing. Maybe after another save here and a restart in a bit after doing some of this drilling, Maybe we will, uh, we won't run into that crash issue. Now that's like the first crash that I've had, uh, since I played this, I think I had one other crash very early on and, uh, it may have been something else running on, on my machine because I've gone hours and hours and hours and hours without any issues. So hopefully that won't keep happening because we do need to, uh, we do need to increase our production of the electronic components. There's just no getting around it. And we need those wire coils and we're already making wire coils. So I was thinking if we could just route the ones we have, the surplus we have from that other belt, that would solve our problem easy. All right, well, let's wrap this episode here while I'm drilling. And then now uh, when we come back, hopefully I will have reached the xenoferrite ore. And then maybe I'll even get started on, uh, getting that belted up here, up to the surface. And we'll have to find a place up top here. Let me just hop up. We'll have to find a place where we can do the processing and turn it into plates. I'm kind of coming in the wrong direction here. That's all right. But uh, yeah, probably way out here somewhere, we'll have a platform to do that. And then maybe we can connect up to the existing uh, solar power array to power that. It's just going to be, I don't know, five or six assemblers stamping out xenoferrite plates and maybe a few drone miners, three or four drone miners, probably. That's kind of the plan. But, uh, yeah, I'll do all that off camera. Boy, it's hard. I almost lost my spot here. Anyway, that's it for this episode. We'll pick it up in the next one. Uh, for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying I will see you in the next episode.